name's Juan Cochran. I'm the owner of the Blackfly brand and Blackfly Outfitter in Jacksonville, Florida. This series is going to be about bonefish flies. There's so many things to know and so many things to learn. And over the years, I've picked up a few of these tips. The most important thing I can tell you about bonefish flies is it has to hit the bottom in two to three seconds. That's really all you need to know. It's very important as to figure out how do you get a fly to do that. Obviously, if you're in real shallow water, it doesn't take a lot of weight to get down to the bottom. And sometimes those flies are referred to as blind, like a blind Charlie. That fly is tied so that there's absolutely no weight uh, around the fly, which is like this fly right here. It has no eyes. Uh, the next fly that you would look at is this one that has plastic, well, has plastic eyes like this guy right here. So if you're in shallow water, you don't need a fly that has a lot of weight. If you're in 18 inches of water, I'm going to pick this guy right here, and it has lead eyes. If you're in 12 inches of water, you might pick something like this, which is, uh, which is a, a bead chain eye, and it it's, looks heavy, but it's, it's hollow. Uh, so the deeper the water, the heavier the fly. And then the next thing you can do to regulate the sink rate is how sparse the fly is tied. So those three things, like this fly here, looks like a big bulky fly, but it's actually a mesh. And it has some weight inside, but this fly sinks very fast. Uh, this is a permit fly or a bonefish fly. I've used this for both. Uh, so just remember, the most important thing about any bonefish fly is the sink rate and how you achieve that sink rate is either by how much material you tie on the fly and what kind of eye you tie on the fly.